My mom showed me how to make four quesadillas with one slice of cheese. And growing up, she convinced me that walking everywhere would make me taller. <laughs> I'm 5'3", and for being Latina, that's pretty damn good, let me tell you. <laughs> she crossed the border at 18 all by herself, from El Salvador, up through Guatemala, through Mexico, and up to Los Angeles. Mom is a nervous and passive type, so I can't imagine her making her way to a strange place all alone. But she did, leaving behind her country, but not her upbringing. Mom didn't talk to me about what it meant to be a girl. You know, feminine things. I learned that in school from a female teacher who told us girls to wash our hair twice a day when we got our monthly visitor because we could get lice. <laughs> I learned how to apply lipstick from a friend because mom never showed me how to put on makeup. Mom didn't talk to me about how to shape my legs, which resulted in them looking like they were caressed by Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> it was simple. Don't mention anything that had to do with me growing up, and it meant I would stay a little girl forever. So why did I expect anything different when it came to the sex talk? I got to talk in our kitchen when I was 14. Cynthia, I knew it was something important because mom didn't use my nickname and she wasn't making eye contact. For everyday conversation, she'd sweetly say, Cinderella, how was school today? Cinderella, I found a dollar bill on the floor and played the lottery. <laughs> Cinderella, can you believe what your tia Concha was wearing? But when she got serious, she never looked at me and she always used my real name. Cynthia, your grandpa died. Cynthia, your father left us. Cynthia, you have to switch schools again. So I knew this was serious. Did she find out I forged her signature because I cut class to go hang out with the boy I liked who spent that time hanging out with the girl he liked, which wasn't me? <laughs> or was it the sex talk? I didn't need the talk. I hadn't even kissed a boy yet. She finally said, when it comes to that, oh my God, it was the talk. Did I really want to hear my mother tell me where things should go and not go? Or discuss the exchange of bodily fluids? And oh man, I hope we didn't have any bananas in the house. <laughs> she started to make her way out of the kitchen and said, wait till you're married, then, I'm gonna go watch my novella. <laughs> really? Wait for what? I was a freshman in high school and it was 1992. Now, I don't know how many of you folks were the popular ones in high school, but for those of you who were awkward like me, I think you'll understand. I wasn't a looker at 14. My breasts were the size of Ritz crackers, <laughs> but I wore a bra anyways as an encouragement to my chest. <laughs> And my front teeth loved each other so much they spooned. <laughs> I didn't have boys whispering in my ear, come on girl, let's do it. Hell, I didn't have boys whispering, hollering, or monotoning anything to me. So at the very least of my thinking was sex. Later that night, mom and I ate dinner. I thought about waiting till I got married. That would be a good girl thing to do, right? I haven't done anything. Mom picked up her napkin, wiped her mouth, and said, good. Look, I really just wanted to be like one of those mother-daughter duos that were close and share things, but I knew she wasn't like that, and it really wasn't her fault. I figured she probably got the same sex talk I did. It was probably handed down from generation to generation. <laughs> I imagined Mom in El Salvador plopped on the stoop of my grandma's house as horses trotted by. Espera hasta que se case, Grandma said, telling her to wait till she got married, and then she probably told her to make tortillas. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's when my mom decided to leave for the States. <laughs> I didn't share much of anything with mom. As long as I got good grades and came home by curfew, mom didn't want to know anything else. So that's the way it was for years to follow. I was an honor roll student for most of my high school years, as well as being a virgin. Now over 20 years later, I've shown mom how to apply foundation and lip liner. I read up on menopause and talked to her about the symptoms. 
Once shortly after she moved in with me, she was laughing into her phone. I heard a man's voice on the other side. When she hung up, I sat down next to her and said, Mom, my house, my rules. Wait till you're married. 